is very simple to go up to the headmaster and simply knock on his door and, of course, you'll hear him yell, come in. But um, it is very simple, really. You can go up to him and tell him any of your troubles and he'll be very, very kind to you. And he'll, he'll really understand you and help you in any way which is possible. You feel at ease when you're in his company. To be easy in this man's company wasn't hard. He was a dreamer, a practical. See his vision of a great Jewish school and help to make of it reality. Koppel Rosen, Rabbi Koppel Rosen, created his school and brought to it the best from two traditions. Carmel is a public school in the English tradition, enriched by the spirit of a great faith. It is a Jewish school for Jewish boys, but not only Jewish boys, for today, a growing number of applications come from non-Jews. Today, too, boys from many countries come to Carmel. They like to come to Carmel. The difference between a boarding school and an ordinary school is that the masters who teach you are so much more your friends. You know, not uh, at an ordinary school, a grammar school, the master's simply there during the lessons, and that's the end. I find that all the teachers that, that are teaching me at the moment are all very good teachers, and I like them all. Hebrew is taught as a living language, and living with their faith, as these boys do, gives a meaning and excitement to the study. This is the language of their faith and of a nation. It is a great classical language, their heritage. The sciences themselves, though, permeate the spirit of the school. They are its grand passion and enthusiasm. And yet, they are not an end or the whole. The end is broad, well-based, thorough, and enlightening education. And to find the whole, you must look to other disciplines as well and to the life of the school. Sport here is like sport at almost any school. A passion to some, fun and physical release for all. The difference is in its setting. Superb, expansive, attractive playing fields and grounds are real treasures to a young community, and these have been well chosen. Every year, at every public school, when spring comes round, Athletics have their short day at the top of the sporting heap. But cricket, ah, that's another matter. Here, as everywhere, cricket isn't exactly sport, it's ritual. It's a traditional dance stepped out like an old minuet. Never the same, constantly varied. The river? Well, that's the river. It takes time to learn its rules and a lot of hard work. But it's worth it in the satisfaction of a hard pull in a good crew. Perfect teamwork. The result? For two years, Carmel has won the Midland School's regatta. The river gives much more to Carmel. It's a setting. Downriver from Oxford, the country has simplicity. Great beauty. There's a reservoir of strength in Carmel's setting to add spur to the great leap up river to Oxford that's at the heart of many of the boys. Here, they grow in every way and by many means. I'm captain of chess and I take an active, very active part in the game. And I do my best to um, help all the other boys in the school to, um, well, to take an active interest in it. Today, Carmel's chess team is a good one. They're in the finals of the Southern Counties Schools Championship. Now, there to play Eton. We go into the dormitories after our prep, nine o'clock in the evenings, and we use that place for reading, for having a chat with our friends. All this is a school, the real, imperfect, vital outcome of a dream. Its spirit and its success a living memorial to its architect. How much more of that dream, left uncompleted in death, waits other hands? How much did Rabbi Rosen dream? He dreamed of a community of life that of itself would lay the foundation stones for excellence of manhood. These are the practical, material necessities he needed to give the dream itself foundations.
he needed a gymnasium to build bodies. More dormitories for more and more boys. New classrooms, airy and bright. Rooms to help to teach. He needed a synagogue to tie all these together in the spirit. This was the heart of the dream. And these are their beginnings. The foundations of the foundation are going in around the old nucleus. This is the site of the old gym, now torn down. It was a good gym, and the boys used it well. Couple Rosen liked to see all this, to help guide his school and his boys. His commitment to them was complete. He was a part of their life, of everything they did. He was their spur. sing Shir Hamalot. I'll give you the note. Shir Hamalot. However well Carmel does its job, the standards by which it's judged are those of its founder, who is buried here in a corner of the school grounds. For Carmel College is very much one man's dream, the creation of a great educational institution to serve the needs of the Anglo-Jewish community, the dream of Rabbi Koppel Rosen. We feel that a Jewish boy born in this country is the heir to two great cultures, the culture of the land in which he lives, and also the older Hebraic culture from the days of the prophets. And if one can instill a love of both cultures into a boy, we feel that it is a remarkably enriching experience. The quotation is uh, from Proverbs, that yes. uh, a man, the, the righteous man is like a tree planted by the water and grows, shoots and spreads its leaves. Chief Rabbi, Lords, and ladies and gentlemen, may I firstly say how honored I am to have been asked to speak on behalf of the old boys of Carmel on this, the 25th anniversary. 25 years may be quite an achievement for a marriage, but it's only a beginning for a school. Because the value of Carmel lies in the fact that it, that it has something to offer, which is valuable not only in Jewish terms, but in universal terms. It is with a feeling of honor that I propose the toast to Carmel. Come on, come on.